Etter AI's new text-to-speech model is scarily good. It is so good that Facebook or Meta AI doesn't want to release the model. This model is called Voicebox and in this video we're going to learn about Voicebox and what makes Voicebox a really really good state-of-the-art model across tasks. So introducing Voicebox, the first generative AI model, the first, I mean the first, okay, the first generative AI model for speech to generalize across tasks with state of the art. So they said that this is the first model because this model generalizes across tasks. Previously, you would have one model that would do one thing, for example, text to speech or something like that. But this model, this whatever Facebook is introducing, not the model, but this technology called voice box can generalize across tasks. Oh, what do we mean by these tasks? The tasks that we usually have in, um, let's say voice related task. For example, you want to do a style matching, you want to do a style transfer. Can you do that? You can do that. You can do a cross lingual style transfer. You can do an in context text to speech synthesize. And you can in fact do speech denoising and editing. You can do like a uh, give a text and then edit it and get it in a different, different diverse speech sampling. So all these things are possible with one model alone. So it's called voice box. And like I said, Facebook is not releasing the model as as with other powerful a new AI innovations. We recognize that this technology brings the potential for misuse and unintended harm. In our paper, we detail how we built a highly effectively calc, calc classifier that can distinguish between authentic speech and audio generated with voice box to mitigate these possible future risks. We believe it is important to be open about our work so the research community can build on it to continue the important conversations we are having about build how to build AI responsibly, which is why we are sharing our approach and the results in the research paper, but not the model in itself. The model and the model weights are not shared anywhere. That doesn't stop us from discussing this amazing, like really top notch text to speech model, or I don't know if I should call it text to speech model. A speech model like this is like um, you know when stable diffusion came it's just not like Im text to image creation model it was like text to image image to image people ended up creating videos so voice box almost looks like that kind of creating a new completely new ecosystem in itself and if you just jump into the model in itself it's quite amazing what it can do and the if you see the benchmarks like Wally Wally from Microsoft has got a word error rate of this level. This is like probably like six and voice box is mo like more than half of it. Sorry, lesser than half of it. So voice box is probably like two times better than almost better than Wally in uh, English word error rate, which is an important metric. Whenever you have like any text or voice based models to measure how much that model makes a mistake. So voice box is a based on a method called flow matching which has been shown to improve upon diffusion models. So usually what we have got, we have got all these existing models are all behind diffusion process. So you have a noise and then you try to remove the noise in such a way that you get whatever you want. This is the fundamental behind stable diffusion. And this has been the fundamentals behind a lot of music generation model as well. But voice box takes a completely different approach called flow matching. And they have felt that voice box shows better result than diffusion based models. So what voice box outperforms the current state of the art English Wally on zero shot text to speech in terms of both intelligibility and which is like 5.9% word error rate versus 1.9% word error rate and audio similarity which while being as much as 20 times faster. So it's faster, it's more accurate and um, it is um, versatile. For cross lingual style transfer, voice box outperforms your TTS to reduce average word error rate from 10.9% to 5.2% and improves audio similarity from 0.335 to 0.481. It's a mind blowing result. Now I can honestly understand why they are not releasing the model in itself because um, you can do like audio cloning just like that, like just like that. You want to see, you can very well, most simple, the simplest way probably I've seen to, to do 
audio cloning is using this. Like for example, you want to do style transfer, okay? So this is the style reference and the style reference would probably say the country's lush, forest and diverse eco. And then you have got the content. Now you can use the style and apply it on con this content and get this. Let me play this for you. The country's lush forests and diverse ecosystems. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Style transfer. Here the audio clip is going to be used as a style reference and the new audio is going to be created based on the content applying that style reference. The country's lush forests and diverse ecosystems. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Did you just see how the same voice has been used for a completely, totally different text? This is quite amazing and this is probably one of the reasons they are not releasing the model because this can have a huge implication. I mean, if you if you all have been following this channel, when Eleven Labs released their model for the first time, there was a huge, huge backlash among a lot of people that people were replicating and copying, duplicating celebrity voices. Then they went through a process and they can afford it because they are a startup. At the end of the day, for Facebook to do it, it has a lot of PR cost and also re releasing the model might have its own implication and that's exactly why they are not doing it. But like I said, this model is super impressive and uh, it can like, for example, you have got an audio editing uh, audio track and you want to remove the background noise and just like edit a bit, you can do that. This is very similar like what people do with the Descript and this can do it excellently. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to show you how to create a beautiful flower arrangement. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today create a beautiful flower arrangement. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to show you how to create a beautiful flower arrangement. I don't know if you noticed, it just identified the place where there is noise and removed that audio track and improved the next one and then combined it, stitched it together. And that's that's like literally every audio editor, podcaster, YouTubers dream to edit audios. And uh, like a lot of times, mm, hums and uh, some noises that you have to edit. This is like, this is quite amazing. What was also amazing is not just that they're good at style transfer or not just that they can do text to speech that is quite similar with the original voice but also the diverse set of voices that they've got. Like, let me play this for you and then you would probably hear totally different types of voices, but really good ones. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. As you have seen, like it's different types of voices, but it is all AI generated. It's not like somebody sitting there and cry, trying to create it. It's all AI generated. And uh, it says like the, the, the results that they've got in terms of speech recognition models trained on voice box generated synthetic speech performs almost as well as models trained on real speech with 1% error rate degradation as opposed to 45 to 70% with synthetic speech from any previous text to speech models, which means their speech model is so good, so good that the existing systems almost believe that this is from human being. And that's also why you can probably understand that they have either built a watermarking technology or something which they are using to have an effective, like highly effective classifier that can distinguish authentic speech and also audio generated using voice box. I can very well understand already or anticipate that these models might be going inside Facebook's product starting from Facebook, Instagram. Um, I don't know if it will ever come to WhatsApp, but at least for creators on Instagram and Facebook, I can very well see this model might jump in uh, with a lot of, lot of nuances, but this is, this is an interesting work, like really interesting and exciting work. If you want to know more about this, I'll link the, blog post in the YouTube description and also you can check the paper here where you can read more about it. And also if you're interested in knowing more voice voice um, samples, you can go, they've got a separate landing page for voice box, it says text guided multilingual universal speech generation at scale. And you can get to see like what kind of things are happening and different um, tasks, different kind of tasks, like various tasks. And you get to know all these details and really good amount of demos are available here. 
how do you take a noisy speech and then take the model output and then get it really good content editing text to speech synthesis cross lingual style transfer diverse speech generation all these things are available here for you to play with this let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it i feel i feel really good like for example if you are a gaming artist if you are a hollywood movie producer this could be like mind blowingly amazing and could save a ton of cost for you but also at the same time it has its own implication and that's why they just keep on mentioning this ethics statement every now and then here and they also remind people that they have built a classifier because this can also play a huge role in the world of misinformation especially when people just believe anything that they see so so yeah it's 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 uh, it's interesting they are not making the model or code available public at this point but i think this approach can give ideas to a lot of people so this is voice box for you the model that facebook is really scared to release publicly the same thing happened when uh, open ai released gpt for the first time so i don't know if we are going to see a completely new revolution in the voice world just like in the text world but um, time will tell us i hope this video was helpful to you let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it otherwise see you in the next video